Hi YouTubers and thanks for watching. This is uh, Brian Harkins and we're looking at the, the second part of the iMovie tutorials. And last time we looked at how to make a, a standard movie uh, with the themes. This time we're going to look at how to make a film trailer. And we're going to actually make one about bears today. Say it's a theme that you're working with in class, all about bears. Um, so I've got some pictures and some videos already on the iPad ready. Uh, they're all in photos. So we're good to go. So let's get started iMovie in the project we're going to click add let's start a new project, we're not going to go for movie this time, we're going to go for a film trailer so as you can see there's lots of choices at the bottom, we've got these are the different themes, adrenaline, bollywood expedition fairy tale these are great if you're doing some literacy work on those particular story types uh, narrative is nice, we're going to use that one later. Scary, it is quite scary, be warned. Spooky music, so it contains music. So each of these themes contains music relevant to the, the theme. Let's just watch the superhero one. So all the bits of video that you'll see in this trailer example are already preset. I haven't taken any of these. All built into the app. You can see as well at the bottom there it says 59 seconds. Press. That tells you how long this trailer is going to be. Okay, so let's just go back to narrative and we'll click create in the corner. So on this next section, this is where we're going to put it together and it's split up into three parts. We've got the, the outline and the storyboard. I'm just flicking between those two there, clicking outline. And storyboard outline is where you can type in the title and you can put your studio name and directed by whoever's been involved in the production the children love typing in their names so really important to give it a good title because this appears in the film at the start I'm just going to call this simply bears in the wild you can see it's put it up into the top right window that's the preview screen and underneath that in the bottom right corner is where all the media is kept, all the pictures and the video and you can select camera as well to do some live footage. I've just clicked on the storyboard tab and all these little pictures represent a clip that you're going to put in place. So it's everywhere there's a grey section it suggests that you try and match it like for like but it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly like that. It just helps because that's how the music fits together. So I think the people who've designed this want you to try and match it like for like. So if you've got people in your film trailer and you're working on say a group, which I've just highlighted, then you try and get the group shot in that together. If it's a two shot, again just try and get full height of the people. Okay, so you can just click on these and change anything you want to on there. So let's change that landscape there. Let's put our own pictures on. So I'll click on photos and all I'm going to choose a picture of that bear with the fish as soon as I click it it just automatically puts it in it's really nice now the next one is 4.3 seconds so I might just choose a video for this one recently added I've got some bear footage that I recorded off the screen and we'll have this clip here and you can just drag this along until it's a it's a really good picture of the bear just catching that fish. Now let's have that section. So there's an arrow underneath, there's a little play preview or an arrow. Let's just put it in. And there we go. Now I can also just go back to that one and if I like the first bit I can choose and just drag it along to the last bit if I want that bit. Whatever's in the yellow section will be 4.3 seconds in total so you can just choose whichever bit you want it's quite dramatic it's about to get eaten and the next one let's put another video pop it in click it and change it and the next shot is three seconds let's have a photograph of some cute pairs it's three seconds. Okay, so I think you get the idea. You just select where you want the video to go. 
and it automatically puts it in. Let's just have a quick look. I'll just press play on the right hand side. So let's. So if we just go back to the very start and click the very top, the top one, and click the white triangle, which is the play button on the middle right of the screen, and the fish. Oh, it does catch it. Great. Okay, I'll just pause it there. So I've got all these other ones to do. So there's quite a little bit more to do. Some of the younger children might find this a little bit tricky to put in all the text. So I'd work with years three, four, five, and six on this one or above. So they can really go to town and putting in the text, making it really effective. Now there is an undo. Now there is an undo button in the top right corner of the screen. It's like a little little arrow, back arrow. So you can press that if you ever get stuck. And a little circle question mark at the top, just to remind you of where things go. So the class of children have finished their uh, movie trailer based on the bears or whatever topic you've decided to do. And uh, if I click the back arrow next to the circle question mark at the top, then we can see how it's gonna look and we can choose to, uh, we can play in the middle, the play button, or we can export. Uh, we can save the video to the camera roll and then uh, export it out. So we can use the share button, export it to YouTube if your school has a YouTube account. Um, or you can save the video into your camera roll and save it into Dropbox, own cloud or whatever sharing platform you've decided to go for or you can delete but be careful you can't get it back once you've deleted very difficult and good practice for the children is just to press back back to the project so whoever opens it next is ready to start now there's loads of ideas you can use with these pictures in the classroom and on my blog site which is a link at the bottom there uh, have a look and see if you like some of the ideas of how you can use iMovie in your classroom Okay, any questions, write them in the comment box or subscribe and like if you if you find it useful and stay tuned for more. Okay, bye for now.